up again guys Chris here so this is uh, my 1986 Toyota 4Runner lovingly named Charizard my wife and I just picked this up a couple of months ago and it's my daily driver I've been driving it around where I live almost every day I've got a lot of cars sorry for the noise in the background I'm not sure if you can hear that but I tried to find a, a parking lot where we wouldn't have so much road, road noise of course, as soon as I turn the video on, somebody with loud exhaust is driving by. Well, let me tell you a little bit about Charizard. And then I'll tell you why I like these old trucks. I think that's what this video is going to be about. Why I like old Toyotas. You know, uh, first of all, it's got the 22RE engine in it. It's got an automatic transmission from the factory, which isn't necessarily sought after. And for the most part, I agree. A five-speed would be more fun. The other four runners I've had in the past have all had five speeds. I actually have another 1986 four runner that's uh, in the process of having a 3.4 motor swap done to it. And that also has a five-speed. Because of which, I actually had to take the five-speed out of that one, which may end up in this one eventually. But for now, it's an automatic, and I don't mind it. It's a little bit more gutless than the five-speed, I think, and it's certainly less fun, but it's more fun in traffic, which is a big deal for a daily driver that I'm not particularly... Uh, oh, I'm, not, I'm not, not going off-road with it very often. First day I got it, I did. Took my family up the hill, got up a, a rock face that I wasn't able to get up with my third-gen forerunner that I had for a while with the factory rear locker and all that. This thing got right up it, man. It was awesome. You know? So the guy before me was a cool guy. Uh, almost a year ago, probably even over a year ago, he ended up coming to my house because I was selling a third gen 4Runner and he ended up not buying the truck but he brought this thing along. And I'm weird like that, I'm sure a lot of you are as well, but I remember the truck for, as soon as I saw it for sale, I was like, oh, it's the truck that was at my house. Anyway, uh, we got to talking and he was, you know, you know, he had just got it, he was all excited about it, he had just got the wheels and tires. Um, he had Smitty, bu Smitty built bumpers, two bumpers, uh, that he was going to put on it. He actually gave those to me as well. If anybody is interested in those and they're in Oregon or near Oregon, I'm going to be putting those up for sale pretty soon. Um, he did a lot to this truck. He had a, he had a professional mechanic, you know, tune it up, do oil change. He had, I guess it had a starting issue, so he, he replaced it with an LCE starter, an LCE alternator. Uh, he's got an LCE stainless steel header in there, I guess I do now, but he, he put it all in there. Um, full exhaust all the way back, it's a 3 inch exhaust that goes into a, I believe he said it was a Flowtech, and it shoots out, I, I believe it's 2.5 inches uh, rear, uh, dual, dual exhaust, um, so it pops out on either side of the truck. And let's see what else. He also put some different seats in it for the front. They, they pretty much match. They look pretty good. Uh, I think he said they're from a Camry. Probably mid-90s, kind of by the looks of it. But yeah, it's a good truck. Everything works on it. When I bought it, I convinced my wife immediately to let me buy the soft topper, which I did some research. I've always wanted one, and I did some research, um, a whole bunch, actually, and, and it was kind of, it ended up be, being between the soft topper and the, and the KTT one. I forget what it's called. There's advantages and disadvantages to both. I ended up going with the soft topper. And for those of you who are interested, I highly recommend it. It's been great. It is it is a tight fit. So if you don't do it in the right sequence, if you don't button it up when you want to close it up in the right sequence, you gotta go from like this top area down to here and then kind of work your way back. Or I believe, yeah, from the top down and then you gotta snap the very back one right there and then you gotta do all the ones in between. Doot, doot, doot. But uh, once you get the hang of it, it's a one person job. It takes five minutes. Um, it also has the added benefit of being able to 
be uh, you know drop down completely, so you're gonna have you know no top, and then it, it comes with a bag like a protection or protecting bag that kind of I guess sits on the back and holds it all together. And I haven't actually messed with that yet because I don't know I'm nervous that I'm gonna rip it or something. I'm just I don't know. I, I like the look of this for now. I haven't had it for that long. You know I got the Maxxis Bighorn tires on it, which I think were a big uh, participant in why I got up that rock ledge to begin with, which. I'll, I'll show you photos of if I have them, um, or maybe I'll, I'll cruise on up there one of these days and, and show, you, show you the area. I think I have a video of it somewhere. But yeah, this is Charizard. My wife, Alyssa, she wants to, uh, you know, obviously we're big Pokemon fans. There's this, there's this thing that we have. We have, a, uh, we have a truck called Charmander. It's a 1970s, I believe it's a 78 Hilux, so it's got the double headlights going on. And uh, so it's it's like this truck's little brother, and eventually we want to get one that's in between these generations, so like a 79 to 83, preferably four wheel drive, because I already have a two wheel drive in red, so it could be Charmeleon, so we can have like the whole the whole fire lizard family going on. But she wants to also incorporate her favorite movie, which is Jurassic Park, into this thing. And since we're not you know Jeep people, uh, we're definitely Toyota people. Not that I have anything really against Jeeps, I, I just I just like Toyotas more. I don't know, I've always liked the look of them, which I'll get into in a minute. Uh, she wants to do the classic, like, dinosaur Jurassic Park logo on this thing. And we're thinking about maybe doing, like, that style, but instead of a T-Rex, we're going to do, like, a like a skeleton version, or maybe just a regular version, silhouetted, silhouetted of Charizard himself. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, Pokemon-esque and also uh, Jurassic Park-esque. We think it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, so... It's pretty much just a stock truck. I'll kind of run you through it. I think this video might get a little longer than anticipated, but that's kind of been the the pattern so far. Oh yeah, the previous owner also put this sweet Grant steering wheel on. Uh, it's a little small. Your hand rubs up against the windshield wiper switch pretty often. And uh, so yeah, that's kind of a consequence of it, but I really like it. I probably never would have bought that style. But it's pretty chill. It's pretty chill. Is it here? So yeah, stock back seats. Oh, those are some windshield wipers for a different car I bought for my mom. Um, and that is a, what we call a squish that my wife made for our dog Jet. He's got to bring those things everywhere. It's like his comfort comfort ball. Uh, it needs a little bit of love back here, as far as needing to be have the carpet partially replaced or have some sort of other option in there. Some of the panels aren't in, you know, amazing shape. You can kind of see it there. I don't know if you can, actually. I can barely see it. Uh, that that needs some help. I don't know. I'm, I don't really care about that right now. I'm not too worried about it. The headliner's in really good shape for what it is. There's one rip right there, as you can see. And it looks like there's some sort of a patch back in the day. Uh, you can see right there, the circle. No sunroof or nothing, which I actually prefer living in Oregon. That can become a headache. And as often as I'd use a sunroof, it just doesn't even matter. It's the deluxe, unfortunately, so it does not have the factory tachometer. And the dash is in dire need of replacement. I think it's beyond saving, in my opinion. So I'll eventually be doing that. These are the seats I was talking about. Like I said, I think they're from a Camry. He said they bolted right in, and he actually gave me the factory seats. And, you know, they have the typical driver side, like, nastiness going on right there, so... I have them, you know, it's cool that he, that he gave them to me. Uh, carpet, I think, is original. I'm not sure. It's got the original saddle color. It's in pretty good shape for my experience with these old trucks. Door panels are pretty good. I love the brown and tan, man. That's my favorite. My first 4Runner was an 89, the last year of this body style. And uh, it had a gray interior, which was cool at the time. I think I probably would have preferred that, but honestly, man brown is where it's at dude it's it's pretty slick in my opinion yeah so everything works automatic like I said um, it's got an aftermarket stereo all that kind of good stuff you know listen to some tunes Bluetooth and all that oh it also has worn hubs some people like them some people hate them you know I guess I'd probably prefer Ison ones the stock ones just because that's you know I know they work but you know it is what it is a couple hundred bucks of an upgrade I guess right there 
All right, so right before the 10 minute mark here, let me tell you guys why I like these old trucks, okay? It's kind of a funny story. My brother Sky, he's, he's a bit older than me. Not by a lot these days, we're all getting older fast, but when I was a kid, he was already grown up, so he didn't live with me. But, man, I love my brother Sky, man. If you're, if you're watching this, dude, I love you. I miss you guys. But yeah, he kind of got me into these trucks. I don't even know if he realizes it, but I liked cars from an early age. I just didn't know much about them. And he had this old, it was actually red. Uh, I believe it was, yeah, it must have been four-wheel drive. And it actually was a Nissan pickup, but I didn't know that. You know, I everybody had Toyotas, and you know, I watched Toy Story as a kid, and they had a Toyota in that, in that freaking show, too. I didn't even know Nissan existed. So I associated his old red pickup with being, you know, as being a Toyota. So... Well, this guy's signaling me. I don't know what he's trying to do. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he'll come to me. Maybe he's crazy. Did I bring my knife? Yeah, I brought my knife. All right. Anyway, so he had uh, he had this old beater pickup truck that he had for years, and yeah, uh, I thought it was cool. No, man. Gracias. Oh, I thought he was trying to shank me, but he was saying. I may have lost some keys. Did I lose my keys? Man, now he's got me all freaked out. No, I got him. Got my knife and my keys, guys. Everyone, everyone calm down. Everybody tell me in the comments what you would do in that situation if a guy came up to you and was just starting shit and you didn't have a knife. What would you do? What would you do? I'd probably start yelling at him. I'm an asshole, though. Anyway, sorry, back to the story. So, my brother Sky had this old Nissan pickup truck and he actually let me drive it. I think I was 14 years old. My mom and I cruised down to California. We were still living in Oregon. I mean, I always lived in Oregon. Oregon. So we cruised down there on one of our few vacations to visit him and his family. And uh, man, I, somehow I convinced him to let me go on a drive. And he had, he had this really badass area like near his house. It was kind of deserty and it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, Northern California. And uh, we went out there. There was rust, there was rocks, there was all sorts of good stuff. You know, that a 14 year old you know, without any driving experience, practically. Hang on. Boy, it's lively over here today. I don't know if you can hear that. These guys have motors on their bicycles, and it's hella loud. So anyway, he takes me over to this, like, off-road area, and he's like, all right, you know, hop in. First time with a five-speed, first time, you know, driving a four-wheel drive, first time trying to impress my brother in a car. You know, I'm 14 years old, man. I'm freaking out. I'm so excited. And uh, what do I do? You know, I avoid the... I avoid this big pit that's totally would like, you know, flip the car, flip the truck if I would have hit it. I avoided that and I was so fixated on not going into this rut that, again, would have just screwed us, um, that I ended up hitting a huge boulder, like the size of an engine. Like, I mean, it was just ridiculous. I mean, it's funny now, but it really wasn't funny at the time. You know, he, he gets out, he hears the, uh, the tire, it, you know, old steelies on this thing. He hears the tires all bent and, you know, so he, he finds a rock and he bangs the rim in as he's screaming at me saying, what the, f you know, did he do? <laughs> I'm practically crying, man. I'm so, I'm so ashamed. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so scared, you know. And, uh, yeah, he, he drove us back after he banged the rim in, man. I'll never forget that. And it just stuck in my mind, you know. I, I think these trucks are iconic for a lot of different reasons. I think we all have kind of a story, you know, somebody that we know or loved grew up, you know, having one and maybe you went on one or two fun adventures with them. You know, I I was just in love. I don't know. I think they're so cool. I got my first Toyota in trade for an old motorcycle that barely ran. It was a 1980 four-wheel drive, man. I wish I still had that thing. Straight axle. It rode like crap, but it was a fun ride. And uh, I've had many since. I've got two-wheel drives. I've got four-wheel drives. I think that there's another aspect of it I wanted to talk about, too. Um, I think that they're... They're cool little trucks because they don't get amazing fuel economy, especially these four-wheel drive ones, but they get pretty decent economy for what they are. And especially if you get like a pickup model, and especially, especially if you get a two-wheel drive pickup model, you can haul a decent amount of stuff. You know, it's not nothing too heavy or, or anything like that, but you can haul stuff. You can get some work done. You can even tow small trailers with them, and they get decent gas mileage. I think that's going to be important in the years to come when the gas prices go up again, which is inevitably going to happen. And everyone freaks out and stops buying these brand new SUVs that are still getting 15 miles to the gallon. I mean, this thing doesn't get much better than that. And on, on a bad day where there's a bunch of hills, like around my house, it's probably getting a little less than that. 
and it's pretty healthy. But I don't know. I think there's some value to a smaller vehicle. You know, you can get them in smaller areas if you live in a wooded area you can potentially get them into smaller trails if you needed to and yeah I think that's why I like the, the old Toyotas they're iconic they're functional they're fun for me they're very nostalgic and they're just you know there's a reason why they're going up in value man this thing has 234,000 or so on it and I don't know the history of it so who knows how many motors it's been through but for all I know this thing could have the original engine in it probably does have the original transmission the rear windows often go out on these or the or rather the electronics either the switch or the relay is a big one uh, or the window motor itself or just there's a lot of components to it and so this one is subject to that so before me I guess another thing the guy before me had done at the mechanic shop was have a um, double throw double post switch installed just an aftermarket switch that just goes from the battery directly to the switch directly to the to the window and uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll shut up now. I'm at about the 16 minute mark, so, you know, I appreciate you guys, you know, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. If you want to see more of these types of videos, I've got a lot more cars, and I'd be glad to give you the full scoop on, on anything you want to hear about. So, I hope to be doing more of these videos. I just got to kind of get, wrap my mind around being a YouTuber and get it done. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks, bye.